Today, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level... This is a long one. 1.618033988749894. Or Midas's Touch. Which is one of the least understood levels in all of the Backrooms existence, and only a few people have made it out alive to tell us all about it. This one is crazily unique, but no matter how cool it looks, never touch anything in this level. I repeat, never touch anything in this level at all. That's all I'll say for now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support. Let's get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 1.618033988779498. Or Midas's touch is classified as a class this symbol and is unsafe, unstable, and has body altering hazards. You'll hear all about those later if you're interested. The level goes by another name too, which is level Phi. Now, Phi is this symbol that's in the beginning of the level, and it's actually the first letter in the real life Greek alphabet. It often represents wave functions in quantum mechanics, like the golden ratio. I'm not going to pretend like I know what that is, but what is the golden ratio, you may ask? Well, it's the long number in the name of the level, the 1.6 one that I'm not going to keep saying because it's too long. Now that Bruegley's math class is over, let's talk about the level description. The level takes the appearance of a massive warehouse with pipes running along its walls. The pipes have a soft, rushing noise coming from inside of them, and they're always warm to the touch. Windows are also a common thing to find in this warehouse, and they're always whited out with bright light coming through them. You can't see what's on the outside, it just seems like there's LED lights shining in on you. Alongside the warehouse area, there are a few other ones, like hallways and offices and storage areas, and they seem to be randomly generated where they are. None of them make sense, it's kind of just mumbled and jumbled together. But that's a pretty common thing inside the back rooms. Nothing crazy. What is not common in the back rooms is that everything inside this level is made out of gold. Pure, clean gold. On top of this, the level also shares the strange non-linear layout that level zero has, where you could be walking in a straight line and you'll end up in a different set of rooms completely because of the geometry. Inside of some of the rooms, there are objects like tools and vests and hard hats and stuff like that, and just other typical warehouse stuff. But again, all of that is made out of pure gold as well. The gold on everything is very well polished and shiny, and it reflects that blinding light coming in from the windows to the point where it's pretty hard to see it sometimes. Now, even though the gold is, you know, pretty to look at, it actually makes this level one of the most dangerous environments levels out there because of its properties. When you stay in this level for long enough, you yourself will begin to slowly turn into pure solid gold. You might have heard of the Midas's touch from history or the, the epic that's on this level. That's pretty much what this level is. The process seems to have five phases in it and it starts just days after being stuck here. And just so you can get all the gory details, I'm gonna go over each phase right now. You're welcome. Phase one is the first 48 hours of being in this level. Now, you typically won't show any symptoms of turning yet, but just after the first day, you'll start to see small flakes of gold forming on your skin, and this strange yellow discoloration appear on your fingers. Now, once you start seeing these symptoms, you need to get out of the level fast, and I'm going to talk about how to do that in the exit portion. Hold tight. Phase two is around the three day mark and the flakes of gold that were on your skin are bigger and thicker, almost like scales, and they're more abundant. And that yellow discoloration from your fingers has turned into some kind of golden rings encapsulating your fingertips. Your arms and legs will start to feel heavy, and it'll be harder to use them. This is your last chance to escape. Now, phase three and four are a couple of days after the previous one, about a week after. And at this point, your legs have turned into solid gold, and your hands are almost fully gold as well, and the rest of your body is becoming harder with more sheets of golden flakes. And by the end of this first week, the only thing left is your beating heart and your head. Now, phase five is the worst, of course, and you'll end up falling down in this phase because of all the weight of the gold around you. Your neck and your head will start to become encapsulated with gold, and the rest of your insides will too. You will then 
pretty much become ingrained into the floor of the level that you're laying on, you know, because you just fell over from the weight, and you'll start to melt and mend together with the floor, and you'll become a part of the rest of the gold on this level mixed together with other poor souls who couldn't escape. So with all that fun info out of the way, let's talk about the ways you could slow down this infection and how you can escape. So the process can be slowed, but it can only be slowed, not stopped. And it's done so by pouring almond water on the affected areas where the golden flakes start to form. Now this could give you long enough to reach the exit safely, but so if you see that gold forming, you literally need to run to an exit. But if you don't want to even risk anything, you could technically bring some kind of object to stand on the entire time, like a uh, rolling office chair or a shopping cart or something. This will keep you off the ground and you'll still be able to move around and it'll stop the direct contact with the golden floor. Now that object you bring will start to turn to gold itself, but it turning into gold is slower and better than you turning into gold. Now, if you have golden flakes on you when you leave the level, they'll stay there for actually a week or so until they shrivel up and fall off. A lot of people actually use these as like a currency. They kind of collect them and use them as this really valuable thing, like a rite of passage. That's not really crazy info. I just thought you should know. It's pretty cool, actually. Now, if you thought this level couldn't get any weirder, you'd be wrong, of course, because across the depths of this level are strange liquid puddles of this golden substance laying on the floor. It's also dripping from the ceiling, too. And this liquid is a seemingly non-Newtonian liquid, like that goo from your childhood that if you punch, it rejects you, but if you softly touch it, you can go through it. And it's thought to be produced when this level is turning a liquid into gold. So if someone spilt water or something on the level, that would turn to liquid gold as well. So nothing is safe from this level's Midas's touch. Now, further beyond the warehouse and the hallways and the offices and the storage rooms, there are even stranger indoor areas called the ruins. These look to be an ancient style of ruin that take the appearance of Roman or Greek architecture. And of course, all of this is made out of gold too. But here it's not solid gold. It's actually all golden flakes and dust. So for some reason, the ruins transform into gold way slower than everything else. That's all. Literally nothing else is known about this. It's weird that they exist. We don't know who built them. Why don't they turn into gold like you do? We don't know. Now, the last warning I have for you on this level is that there might be golden dust floating around in the air. And if you breathe it in, you can accelerate the gold spreading from your nose and your mouth to the rest of your body, causing your insides to turn to gold faster. The way to stop it is by wearing some kind of mask or shirt wrapped around your nose. Now for the question you've all been wondering this whole time, how does one escape this level before turning into a golden statue and then melting into the floor? Well, you can actually no clip into a pipe to be sent back to level two, but this is a form of escape that's really finicky and it doesn't always work. In fact, you might just bust the pipe, which will cause spewing gold dust to be all over you, and then it'll cause you to pretty much turn very fast. So you could try that at your own risk. And there's another listed exit on the level that's hidden in the document that says, quote, phasing through the floor can occasionally take one to the true manifestation of the golden ratio. So whatever that means, I, I wouldn't try no clipping into the floor because I, I don't want to go to the true manifestation of the golden ratio. Unless you're clinically insane, you, you probably shouldn't go either. And to enter this level, for whatever reason, if you want to get some cool gold stuff, you can walk through a door with the phi symbol on it, or you can accidentally no clip into a golden colored box on level one to be sent here. Either way, you probably shouldn't do it on purpose because the exits aren't guaranteed and you might end up being turned into gold and absorbed by the level. Good luck. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to tell me what other levels I should go over in the comments below. And uh, also, while you're down there, check out my third channel, Spoogly. I'm uploading a lot more over there. Uh, the videos are getting a ton of traction. If you want to be there before 100,000 subscribers, drop a like and go sub over there. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for everything you do. If you want to tune into some streams on the Brewly channel, make sure to turn the post notes on. I stream once a week. Um, if you want to be a part of that, it's a fun time. I would love to see you there. If everything, I got some big announcements coming soon. Don't tell anybody, but there's like, there's a Brookly plush coming very soon. Uh, but that's just between me and you and the real ones that are watching right now. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.